Well, today is kind of exciting because I'm in Taiwan. I'm in Taiwan for Computex 2018. So yeah, that's actually really exciting because it feels like this Computex is gonna be the Computex of Linux. I mean, Linux is always really sort of kind of popular at Computex, but you know, Linux Computex, it's not, it's like the, it's like the sideways relationship. I don't know. I'm really hoping that we see more ARM workstations, more fully open hardware, and more of this sort of ARM x86 parity. Now the serious person in me doesn't actually think we're gonna see ARM x86 parity anytime soon, but will we see ARM competing at a level where, you know, for the Facebook machines, for the Chromebooks, for the everyman computer, yeah, it's possible. And the type of computing that you would wanna do if software freedom you know, capital F, is something that you're interested in, I think that that kind of a future is um, something that you can be really excited about and really interested in with the kind of hardware that hopefully you can see here at Computex. Now, I won't, you know, would not be here if it was not for ASRock and Fractal, Fractal Design. They sponsored our trip out here to Computex, no strings attached, but I'm gonna do some pre-rolls and things like that and see how it goes. So, I mean, I'm gonna say thanks at the beginning of the videos because it's the nice, decent thing to do. And also because I think it's it's pretty good coverage. So in the past, you know, we've covered a lot of ASRock products. ASRock products in general that we've reviewed have been very good. You know, mini PCs and motherboards and, and that sort of thing. So you should check out our full reviews, especially when you're using it for Linux. I don't think a lot of our Computex coverage is actually gonna be on the Linux channel and that's not really, the point of this video. The point of this video is for me to introduce you to something. I'm getting ahead of myself. Also want to say a big thanks to Fractal Design. So Fractal Design helped bring us here to Computex 2018. So kudos. Thanks Fractal. That's really awesome. You should check out all the Fractal products we've, we've reviewed so far. We've got the 360 millimeter, you know, Fractal cooler in Ryan's machine. We've also got the Meshify Mini, the Meshify Mini C that we've done reviews on. And of course the flagship, the Fractal Define R6. It is one of my favorite cases. It's quiet, but it keeps your machine cool. And if you haven't seen our build videos, both the Threadripper and the X299, you know, an i9 10 core, and the thing drinks the power with the five gigahertz overclock, both of those scenarios, whether you're team red or team blue, it's pretty bad in terms of heat production inside the case. But hey, the Fractal Define R6 kept both of those builds cool and quiet, competent confidence. So good job Fractal on those. I'm sure you're going to be seeing, you know, more coverage of Fractal's offerings and of Azrock's offerings as the uh, the festivities continue. But I really wanted to bring your, uh, you know, this thing because I've, I've launched a Udemy course. It's actually been there for a while, and it's an intro to Linux. But it's sort of weird how it came about. So I started working on like Udemy approached me and said, "Hey, we're working on a thing. Maybe, you know." maybe some official people like Linux Foundation or some other certification people are gonna be involved in the project and you might be a good fit to be the instructor for you know official certification or official classes or whatever. So I spent a lot of time, probably 50, 60 hours, between 50 and 60 hours and 100 hours, depending on how you wanna count, putting together material that would go into certification. But the problem with that class is we, we, we got about probably 40, 50 hours into, well, in terms of like the, the, the amount of material produced is probably only like 20 hours, like, you know, 15, 20 hours of video material planned and, and some percentage of shot and edited. The problem was that a lot of the material was very advanced and there wasn't really any resource that we could point to and say, okay, this is the resource that you need to get through and, uh, you know, get an A plus in your, your review of this, you know, introductory material and then you can take the 200 level class and get your certification. And I also wanted to cover OpenSUSE, Debian, and Red Hat so that you understand the differences between the distros. So their feedback was, this is too complicated. We need something that's um, more noob friendly. And so thus was born the class that's actually on Udemy. It's six and a half hours right now. I've got probably another 20 or 30 minutes of video that I'll upload not too long after I'm back from Computex that fills in some of the gaps there. We've also got a thread for it in the forum. It should be about $10, give or take, with the coupon that you use below. So when we were setting it up with Udemy, I was like, well, I wanna sell this course for between like 35 and, 
and fifty dollars, something like that. And so they priced it at, at one seventy nine, but it's always on sale. So the pricing with Udemy doesn't really work that way. I don't, I don't know. And so I could, I guess, I could opt out of their pricing, but then it takes you know several days for that to take effect. And I don't, I don't know. So like the thirty five to fifty dollars is completely out the window. So I created a coupon where you could get it for like, I think it's like eleven or twelve dollars, something like that. But then I noticed they put it on sale for like ten dollars. So I don't, I don't really know what's up with that. If you, I know that, pretty sure that if you don't use the coupon that I give you, that I don't really get credit for the sale. And so I don't really earn, I earn almost nothing commission wise, unless you use the coupon. So even though the coupon might sometimes be more expensive, if you would use the coupon from the description, I'd really appreciate it because that's gonna go toward funding more people to help us produce this content and get it edited and uh, that sort of thing because it's hard to find it's like okay need a video editor who's a linux expert and also can say you know run these tests or do this thing at the command line and that sort of helped me anyway long story short level one udemy class that's a linux introductory class there's a coupon in the description please use the coupon to buy the class otherwise i don't really get much if anything of a commission from that um and the proceeds from the class are going to go into developing more of this kind of content and more class type content so yay i've got some other plans for some supplemental information and some exercises and stuff that we can do on this channel on the links channel for that kind of stuff if you think it's useful and educational and all that kind of stuff but yeah it's computex day so i'd better get back to computex and do some exciting stuff gotta meet up with some you know some some new friends and and hang out and you know do the social thing and work on stuff so should be good right i don't know socially awkward in person times a thousand run into a few fans also been super socially awkward because anyway i'll see you guys in level one form so when i'm signing out see ya